And we're getting into the pasta carbonara. Cheese from the sheep. The pancetta's on the grill, but you always got a time for some beer. Pasta with eggs and ham. Okay, one time I made my family pasta carbonara a few years ago, now they love it every time I visit, I make it. The challenges in the United States is trying to find the right pancetta, uh, the guanciale, the pecorino romano, and of course, the spaghetti. Now, in the United States, you don't get such a huge pasta aisle, but here we are. I think this will work. Do you like my uh, pasta carbonara? Yeah. It's a winner. That's gonna be for breakfast. That's cool, cold brew, little single individual bottles in the United States. Find cold brew everywhere. And of course the massive family side cold brew as well. And after our trip to Napa Valley, some Cabernet Sauvignon. Making pasta carbonara, when you make it, oh this car's big. When you make it, do you use cream or do you use eggs or both? I use eggs and we have those at home. Look at this, Starbucks flat white while my family's at the church service. Gonna get some video editing done. I don't do church service, not even on Christmas. Quick detour before I go make that pasta. We're gonna go ice skating. This is a big thing to do with my young nieces and nephews. We gotta get out of here. And we're getting into the pasta carbonara. Stick around to the end of the video because I'll give you the story behind the pasta carbonara. Now, I'm gonna get into this simple yet delicious dish to cook it for the family. 10 people, time to get cooking. Now, if you're in Italy, now if you're in Italy, I normally suggest going to the butcher shop, the macelleria, getting the guanciale, the pig's cheek, get it sliced fresh, diced up into little cubes. But in a pinch, you get the pancetta, it's already in the little cubes. You throw it on the skillet and you're ready to go. So the first thing, you need egg yolks. And the egg yolks are being prepared. Carson, my cousin, is going, nephew, is going right into it. You need Pecorino Romano, cheese from the sheep. This stuff, luckily here in California, they sell Pecorino Romano in the supermarket. I got some and we're gonna grate it. This stuff is salty and good. So get the aqua. Water, we have the water boiling and now we're gonna stick in the pancetta, the guanciale. Get, you don't need olive oil, you don't put olive oil in there. You stick the pancetta in there, it's gonna release its oils. We wanna get it to brown a little bit and then we're ready to rock. Things are moving quickly, so what you do is put the egg yolks in here. We don't have a lot of time to mess about. The water's boiling, the pancetta's on the grill, but you always got a time for some beer. You're gonna wanna put it most of your Pecorino Romano. Not all of it, most of it. You're gonna keep some of it for the end because you're gonna garnish the pasta with it. So I kept that much for the end, put the rest in there. Black pepper, look at that, that's magic right there. So you're whisking this right here till it gets to a smooth consistency. I put in a little bit of water from the uh, boiling pasta water. It's looking good. Add some more pepper if you want some more pepper. I got my sister helping, she's whisking it to a smooth consistency. Looking good, Tammy. In the meantime, I'm watching a refresher video to remember how to cook spaghetti alla carbonara. Stick with me to the end, I'll explain the story of this pasta. The pasta is looking good, so when this is ready, we're gonna pull the pasta out, drop it in here with the oil and the pancetta, saltare, flip it in the pan a little bit, and then I'm gonna drop in the egg yolk, the leftover pecorino romano, sprinkle that on top, and we're done. Now the great thing about Christmas time is that you have your family helping you. So I got my cousin Chris, he was in the Santa Barbara videos, the Highway 101 videos, He's helping me. You try to flip this and operate a camera at the same time, it's not easy. Look at that flip. The pancetta's going everywhere. Okay, we're ready now. Now we're gonna drop in the egg yolks. If you need to, add in a little bit of the pasta water to get it so creamy. They like it, good? I think I'll have This is my brother-in-law, he's gonna like yeah. it. <laughs> One out of 10, what do you say? 10. Now, any leftover pancetta, any of that leftover spaghetti, that's all for the chef. <laughs> this looks great and it's super hot in here. <laughs> Get me this jacket. We have some Cabernet Sauvignon after the Napa Valley trip. That's all I'm drinking. Now, pasta carbonara. What is the deal with this plate? Do you know the story? Eggs and ham. 
eggs and bacon. So when the US military, the allies were coming north through Italy, the Italians, the Americans, they wanted something to eat. They said, well, what can we make the Americans? Can you see me here? What can we make the Americans? Pasta with eggs and ham. Pasta with pancetta and eggs. And we can thank the American forces for coming through Italy. We can thank the Italians. This is delicious. This is pasta carbonata. And this, my friend, is Christmas dinner with the family. Merry Christmas, guys. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas.